everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'd like to begin firstly with one question for you. What do you think is safer for public transportation? Or for your transportation? Bike, walking, I don't know, a boat, an airplane, a fighter plane? Just let me know in the comment section. And uh, now I'd like to apologize to you because I haven't posted for many, many days, but uh, no, I don't really have a reason. I don't know what happened with me and I don't know why I didn't feel to post and uh, to record any new videos about this, but also in, uh, in this time period, I've been uh, a bit busy. I finished with my uh, 300 nautical miles. Yeah, everything is done. I just uh, wrote this down here. I don't know if you may see it, but uh, it is 300 nautical miles done. So basically, what I've done in this time, I flew only VFR navigation, meaning visual flight rules, navigation using this chart, um, couple of navlogs that I've done, and uh, practicing for my uh, next progress test uh, that would be i don't know when but hopefully it would be very very soon in order for me to continue with my program and start the ifr part what does it mean the ifr part instrument flight rules meaning that i will use only the instruments other charts like this in the left corner um and yes that was uh, what I was doing in these days that I haven't posted yet. Uh, if you checked my Instagram or TikTok, I've posted some videos, but uh, I like to tell you some uh, new stories about my uh, navigation flights. Actually, there are very nice stories and uh, I cannot describe the feelings that I've been through when I was flying, but the most recent uh, uh, experience that I had to was a couple of days, I think two days ago, when I completed my 300 nautical miles and uh, I can say that was amazing to fly for three hours and then land, refuel the aircraft and take off again, amazing, amazing. It was also demanding because it was hot, you get uh, tired and uh, you may feel uh, uncomfortable because of, of, of the heat. It was too hot outside in that day. But uh, I'll not complain about this because I didn't feel any discomfort or I don't know uh, something related with the heat that was outside. But uh, I felt the tiredness after I got home, took a shower, and I felt whoa, this was a busy day. So how was this 300 nautical miles? Two days in advance, I submitted a request for one airport, and then one day in advance, I submitted. Another request for the other uh, air dome that I should have uh, landed. I finished with these requests, then I started to check the weather in order to choose a good route. Of course, it is summer, nothing special or nothing that should put me in danger related to weather. So I've just uh, started with uh, the chart, plotting on the chart. You know, you saw me a couple of uh, videos ago when I've showed you how am I uh, planning for my VFR navigation flight. So basically, I've done two routes. You may see it here. Let me change the chart. So the first one was from uh, opa, uh, where is it? from uh, Amitanonas, Lydia Airport, basically my base airport. And then I flew up to this big airport. This one it is, uh, wait a second, I'm pretty sure. This one it is uh, Alexandropoli. And then I went uh, over the sea to Limnos Airport. This is basically, um, or it was, I'm not sure, uh, military airport. And then, oh wow, this chart gives me trouble. And then I flew back over the sea, back to Amigdalona, to refuel. And uh, the second route, it was this one up to here. I don't know if you may see it or not. And this was my 300 nautical miles. This took me around four hours and a half, something like that. It was a very fast uh, day, I could say that but I enjoyed it the most. So, 
Let me tell you what I encountered when I flew this 300. I just took off, overhead the, the station, blah blah blah, you know, some procedures, request get in touch with uh, the other uh, uh, air traffic control that I was in their TMA, which was uh, Megas Alexandros uh, uh, traffic controller. I requested them to fasten my, uh, to facilitate me and to facilitate my uh, navigation flight because it was a 300 and to save some fuel um, and allow me to go direct to Kavala City because this one it wasn't a VFR navigation route so I just went straight to that one to save some time else or, and also some fuel. After Kavala I will uh, just uh, use my chart in order to remember things that I've encountered um, along the route. So I flew uh, over, I crossed the Megas Alexandros uh, airport. Everything was like procedures and stuff, nothing too uh, interesting or to give me some trouble. Just follow my route, some t my ties, what I've floated, what I've planned here in uh, on my now vlog, and that was it. I arrived over another uh, waypoint which was called Maronia, and they told me. You have to wait there, orbit, we call, we call it orbit, like you are in the aircraft, let me take this out, oh, I hope that I haven't broke it, okay, so let's say that this is a point on the chart, so they are telling me orbit over that point at that specific altitude and I'll call you back, just report that orbit over that point uh, and that's it, and also the altitude. And you just do this orbiting, like circles, circles. I was doing on the left, then on the right, just waiting there. Cause even if I submitted the, um, a request for uh, uh, being approved to get uh, in their uh, to land on their airport, they were acting like nobody knows about my flight. So I asked them, you know, I have. An approval received for your airport and uh, they told me wait I have to check they checked I was confirmed and uh, they told me to orbit I was orbiting there for I think seven minutes because I used the clock in order to know how much fuel I was consuming and stuff to maintain the safety at a high level I finished with the orbit they allowed me to descend for the traffic uh, pattern altitude and uh, do my landing everything went pretty smooth I've done a landing, the ATC from Alexandropoli, I don't know, there is a woman that, that she's amazing. Like the way she talks, the way she's trying to uh, facilitate your flight, it's, it's amazing. I cannot say any bad words about her, but sometimes she doesn't understand what we are talking and we have to repeat a couple of times and shout in the microphone. This is not a problem for me, but sometimes it gets annoying. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, and then I flew over the sea to the other airport, Limnos Tower, and uh, I got in touch with them. Everything went pretty smooth. They knew that I was coming. They allowed me for my touch and go. But also they were like, you know, the wind is 15 knots and gusting 25. And uh, I knew that if I have my PPL, I am allowed to go for 15 knots crosswind. So nothing special for me. That but the ATC from there, they were keep asking me, do you want? touch and go or land or uh, just a low pass and I said I will land and then uh, I will go and uh, they said okay call us when you are on final I called them again on final blah blah, blah you know just to know that uh, just to let them know what I'm going to do and they asked I told them land and then go uh, let's call it I'll touch and go and uh, they were like um, are you sure and I said yes touch and go and they said okay clear for touch and go and I've done it but I don't know why they will keep asking me are you sure do you really want to do this come on I'm a pilot I want to do this it's my training I'm trying to do it to experience new things if something I was going wrong I would have full power would have done full power and that's it go around move on safety first but I knew that I'm incapable to do these kind of things so I've done it but again, if you don't feel so and you don't feel comfortable, just go around every time you have time, that's it. But I knew that I'm allowed, I'm a PPL holder, I'm pretty experienced, so I just went 
went in all in I know what I'm doing I know what uh, I know my aircraft so I know what I'm capable of nobody is gonna tell me or change my mind with uh, silly questions that's what I'm telling you and everybody's saying or asking you many times question and if you know what you are capable of and you are confident about yourself just don't listen to them you have already a decision in your mind just follow your decision and everything is gonna go pretty smooth this is a lesson let's say it for your life or for your student experience anyway I just went back to my base airport I landed there refuel and then uh, go again for the other route to complete my 300 nautical miles I arrived back I filled my logbook, I uh, just uh, gave back the keys of the aircraft, the tech log, everything and that was my day. I will not say that it was a, a bad day, it was actually a very good day. I will not say that it was perfect because I had better days but this one was amazing. The sky was blue, like endless blue, can you imagine that type of uh, of, of sky that you are looking at and everything is peaceful no turbulences no rain no clouds it was perfect amazing the amazing view you can ever see in your life I mean for 8500 at least but when I will fly the big guys this is another story this is another story that hopefully I'll be here to tell you about another things that uh, I'm waiting and looking forward it is uh, to start my UPRT uh, I think course basically this is upset uh, prevention and recovery training it means that when the aircraft is stalling and start to spin you are going to be able to recover and get back to your designated altitude and even if the aircraft let's say you are not using the correct power or uh, you are flying with flaps and you don't have to fly with flaps or the landing gears are out just is that uh, this is only an upset uh, uh, situation for your aircraft because it doesn't seem in a correct way to fly it with let's say flaps um, take off and you are speeding it's not a good thing um, yes my uh, logbook is getting is getting full of up do not uh, break the with birds here, it's, uh, it's amazing, I cannot break it. Very happy to, to show it to you. It has already a few pages filled and completed with some uh, flight experience. Yes, and uh, in a couple of days, I'll try to upload a video in which I've done my uh, PPL revalidation, not PPL revalidation, single engine pistol revalidation. This is basically a rating and you have to revalidate it every two years. And uh, yes, I will keep you updated about my IFR when I'm going to start the IFR part uh, because I have to go through some long briefings. I told you about the UPRT and uh, also this is gonna be amazing because I love the lights. I'll start my night flying. Also, this is a rating, so I'll call it night rating. I have 30 minutes familiarization with uh, DA40. I'm coming back to this beauty with the glass cockpit and uh, a huge difference from Katana that I'm flying right now. It's a classic one. So I will start uh, 30 minutes familiarization with uh, this aircraft again. Then I will have a night flight with my instructor for one hour and then I'll go solo for one hour uh, for my night flying also on uh, D40. I cannot wait for that. I will uh, let you know when I'm gonna upload it, uh, upload the video about uh, the night rating, so stay tuned. And uh, sorry again for not posting for too many times, but uh, you know, sometimes you don't feel uh, motivated, you don't have time. I will take any bad words that you are gonna send it to me, but I hope you don't, hopefully. And uh, I'll try to be more recurrent and uh, try to post uh, more frequent for you to 
uh, be more closer to my community because uh, I saw that uh, my channel is growing so I hope that if you are watching this and you really want to know how is it to be a student uh, in Wizard Pilot Academy how it is my flying how am I planning for my flights how I'm preparing for my flights and I think uh, I will uh, upload a new video about the cost the living cost here in Greece Kavala as a student pilot because I think many of you are really curious how much money do you need as a student pilot to live in a different country and also to complete your course. So stay tuned for another video about this specific topic or if you want to see more lifestyle videos just let me know in the comment section. Until next time do not forget to follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, Pilot Andre on both platforms. Here on YouTube please subscribe because there are many of you that are watching and are not subscribed you're gonna make me a favor and uh, also to be recommended by, by YouTube to another users and to get more people in our community and help you with the Wizard Pilot Academy and probably if you are interested and don't know how to become a pilot maybe some videos of mine will help you to go and start your career as a future pilot and uh, enough with talking subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram pilot andre also on tiktok pilot andre and until next time i wish you all the best and do not forget subscribe 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 bye step three you grow hard about what you want to be step four Fuck everybody just do your thing wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step. At a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 